Welcome and get ready to dive into the thrilling world of investments, where numbers dance, money talks, and the unexpected always keeps us on our toes. Today, we're diving deep into the world of dividend growth investing. We'll show you how a mere $50,000 investment in an ETF can put you on a path to financial freedom that can even surpass your regular job income. But before we jump into the details, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content in the future. All right, let's get started. One of the ultimate dreams for every dividend growth investor is to reach a point where their annual dividend income not only covers all their expenses, but also surpasses the money they earn from their 9 to 5 job. This achievement is the very true definition of financial freedom, and that's what most investors in the dividend investing community are after. And the best part? It is not as complicated as it may seem. We know that there are several different high-quality dividend growth ETFs available, some of which may theoretically help you reach the same goal. But today, we're going to focus on the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, or SCHD for short. What makes SCHD such a compelling investment? Let's understand the nuts and bolts of this ETF to better understand how it has the potential to reshape your financial future. SCHD is a significant player in the world of investments, boasting a massive $49 billion in total assets. What's even better is that it doesn't cost much to invest in it, the fees are super low, just 0.6%. This is a big deal, especially if you plan to keep your money invested for a long time. One important thing to note is that SCHD has been around since October 20, 2011. While past performance doesn't guarantee future results, having a substantial track record like this offers some valuable insights. When it comes to where SCHD puts your money, it's all about the good old United States. It invests in a diverse range of American companies spanning various sectors, including energy, materials, industrial, consumer discretionary, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, and information technology, among others. This means your investment is well diversified across the market. Another reason we love SCHD is its diversification. It's like having a buffet of stocks. It covers various sectors, so you don't need to stress over the performance of a single stock or two. SCHD consistently holds around 100 different companies, including names like Cisco, Amgen, Abvi, Home Depot, Broadcom, Chevron, Merck, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Verizon. These companies share common traits, they're well-established, have a history of consistent dividends, and keep raising those dividends over time. SCHD invests your money in lots of different types of companies, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. That's a smart way to reduce risk. The primary objective of SCHD is to closely mimic the performance of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index before accounting for any fees. This ETF is all about stability and growth. Companies that have a history of paying dividends tend to be financially robust and are often leaders in their respective industries. That makes them solid candidates for long-term investment. Let's dive deeper and talk about numbers. Now, SCHD is currently trading at around $73.67 per share, which could be an attractive entry point for long-term investors. In fact, it's up 182% over the last 12 or 13 years, not even counting dividends. SCHD currently offers a 3.51% annual dividend yield. While it might not be the absolute highest in the market, Here's the catch, if you look at its track record over the last 5 to 10 years, it has shown remarkable growth in its share price. If history repeats itself, investors could benefit not just from dividends but also from the ETF's price appreciation. Now, let's talk about another important metric, SCHD's one-year dividend growth rate, which stands at 7.13%. Dividend growth rate measures how much the dividend has grown over the past year compared to the previous year. A higher dividend growth rate is usually better, and SCHD shines in this department. Over the past three years, it averaged an impressive 12.33% growth rate, over five years, 13.92%, and over 10 years, 11.32%. So, even though the most recent one-year growth rate is 7.13%, if SCHD continues with substantial dividend increases in the next few quarters, it could easily surpass 10%. This means investors who get in early can look forward to steadily increasing payouts over time. Now, speaking of history, when SCHD started, it paid a modest dividend of around 12 to 14 cents per share. Today, it's paying around 66 to 70 cents per share per quarter, which is four to five times more than it did about four to five years ago. In simple terms, investing in SCHD not only provides solid dividends, but also the potential for the ETF's value to increase over time, 
and its history shows a consistent trend of rising payouts. So, why is the dividend growth rate such a big deal? Well, it's time to see why it matters. With just an initial investment of $50,000 and the magic of dividend reinvestment, you'll witness how a relatively small sum invested wisely can turn into something substantial over time that can change your financial future. Imagine you invest $50,000 in SCHD with its 3.49% dividend yield, an annual dividend increase of around 8%, and an expected annual share price appreciation of about 4%, a dividend tax rate of 15%. You're reinvesting those dividends and staying invested for 30 years. Now, let's see what happens over the years. In the first year, without adding a dime, you have $50,000 invested and earn $1,767 in dividends. By simply reinvesting these dividends, your investment grows to $53,500 and your annual dividends increase to $1,965. As you progress, you'll notice that annual dividends keep climbing. Because those reinvested dividends buy more SCHD shares, and SCHD is known for consistently increasing its dividends. When you reinvest your dividends by buying more shares, those new shares start generating their own dividends too. So, you're not just earning dividends on your initial investment, but also on the extra shares you've acquired through reinvestment. By year 3, you'd have $57,300 in your portfolio, raking in over $2,100 in annual dividends. By year 5, your total portfolio grows to $65,900 with a $2,700 dividend. Here you will observe that your investment is growing more noticeably and you might also observe a moderate increase in your annual income from dividends. Over time, this process can snowball, leading to a growing number of shares and, in turn, even more dividends. It's like a financial cycle where your money is constantly working to make more money for you. Fast forward to year 10, and your investment would almost double to $96,000, and you'd be earning about $4,700 in annual dividends. Your investment has likely grown significantly on this point. You have a higher annual dividend income, and the value of your portfolio shows substantial growth. Now, from year 15 to 30, watch the magic of compounding kicks in. The longer you stay invested and let dividends reinvest, the faster those numbers grow. By year 20, your portfolio is close to $242,000 and is earning about $17,500 a year in dividends. Investing for two decades provides ample time for compounding to magnify the returns. Now, your investment has grown substantially and your annual dividend income would be considerably higher compared to when you started. At year 25, your investment would have grown to $381,000, producing $34,000 in annual dividends. By year 30, with just that initial $50,000 investment and letting the dividends do their magic, you're looking at a portfolio worth $678,500. And your annual dividend income at this time? A remarkable $73,500. That's not just financial freedom, that's financial victory. Remember, the longer you're in it, the crazier the results get. But here's the catch, there might be market roller coasters along the way. That's where patience comes in. Stick to your long-term plan, resist those impulsive urges during market turbulence. Investing is a journey where patience is your best buddy. So, stay committed, stay focused, and let your investment work. As you can see, SCHD ETF isn't just an investment, it's a ticket to financial freedom. You don't need millions to make this happen, you need strategy and patience. By wisely leveraging the power of reinvested dividends and choosing growth-focused investments like SCHD, even a modest starting sum can lead to remarkable financial growth. So, what's your favorite long-term dividend growth ETF? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video as exciting as we did, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe for more investment wisdom. Thanks for hanging out with us, and as always, take care.